Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. Uh, in the last episode, we did a crap ton of cooking and a bunch of quests as well. It took me a while to get that done. I was sick and all those things, but there's something that happened afterwards. My game crashed. I booted it up and it crashed and it decided to try to reload the save. But it reloaded the save before... I recorded that episode. So things are slightly different. I tried to do all the quests, all the cooking, everything the same, and I had a bit of extra time at the end of the day because I got a salmon way earlier than I did, not at like 12.30 or whatever, which is really stupid. Uh, and so I spent the time grinding some items. As you can see, I have a few pendants down there, which I still haven't shown you how to make. I'm sorry, we're going to do that in just a moment. So yeah, let's go do that. And of course, I have to keep watering. Alrighty, so we're gonna head over to the accessory crafting. I'm gonna show you how to make a pendant, finally. It requires four silver, a single sparkle string, and a single iron. This is a lower level recipe, but it's not, you know, it's no big thing. We just need a bunch of pendants, so I figure that'd be a good way to do that. We still have more sparkle string. We don't have enough silver, though, so I need two more silver before I can make the final one I need. I'm pretty sure I need five, at least. Do I have the recipe for this? Yay or nay? I do. So, we're gonna need a pendant, a fire crystal, a diamond, cheat bandage, proof of warrior, and a fur for the recipe. The sun pendant. Level 36 recipe. One Pendant, Hard Horn, Earth Crystal, Sparkle String, Ruby, and Quality Fur. The Earth Pendant. On to the next one. The Gale Pendant, level 42. Sapphire, Skull, Giant's Fingernail. The Pendant, the Wind Crystal, and last but not least, the Bird Feather. The Bird Wing, rather. Gale Pendant. Okay, that's not all of them yet, but the Gale Pendant, a pendant created to invoke images of the wind, has a striking freeform flowing design. Earth Pendant, a pendant created to invoke images of Earth, a strong, powerful shape. Pendant, a silver pendant, a simple but highly attractive design. A sun Pendant, a pendant shaped just like the sun, just looking at it will brighten your day. Also, I'm gonna ship these two since they're just off level items that I don't really need. Okay, awesome. Am I incorrect about this? Just a second. Room factory two honey. Okay. I got a monster. I wasn't trying to. I'm trying to read something. There. Oh, you're kidding me. I have it turned down for you, but this is obnoxious. I just crashed my game. I wish my 3DS was working right now so I could open up my copy to see if this is a legitimate issue or if this is an emulation issue. I'll be right back after I just redo everything I just did. Is it because... I had a monster with me? Is that what causes the crash? Let's test. No? So I guess I guess I can chance at this now. Uh, just looking at the stats, this one increases your body by 5 and your intelligence by 7. So it increases your magic defense by 3 and your magic attack by 7. That one's not bad. This one's four and four. This one is five and five. This one is one and one. So obviously the pendant wouldn't be very good, but the upgraded forms, they're pretty good. 
So I'm not sure about the percentages in this game, but as you might guess, they actually give you a uh, resistance to whatever element they are. So use them if you're having trouble with a certain kind of boss. You know, they're pretty clear on what kind of attacks they're using, so just use your best judgment. I'll be sticking to my normal items as, you know, none of these are that good, but... Actually... Ooh. Lowering... What level is this? This is only level 3. And it's that much better? Like, this will... Oh, that's tempting. That is very tempting. I won't do it because I want to ship these. But know that these items are actually pretty dang good. They've been reshipped. Let's save. So it should be noted that while everyone else gets their little symbol here to tell them that they're ready to uh, harvest from, Bet does not. The Hornets actually don't get a symbol until they're ready to harvest. And then the little hub, da, then the little honey symbol pops up. It is weird, it's confusing. I had to like double check that I wasn't doing something wrong, but no. Okay. Now that we're here at the center of Blessia Island, we need to beat all the monsters here. Which is, you know, super easy to do. Oh, skill up. My weapon skill went up to like 57 or something. Stop running from me. Okay, Inquisitive Waltz, I think, right around here. Strong line. Got it. Uh, how many of these do I need? Give me one moment. So I wasn't expecting to get that on the first try, so this was a bit of setup for nothing. Uh, we're gonna head over here. And we need a turtle shell for later today. So the fastest way to do it would be right down here. Perfect. Awesome. We're done here. So we're running through the 90s. Which means we've got to run all the way down here. Uh, this is annoying that we have to do such a roundabout way of doing this. But it's because I don't want to go fight the boss yet. <laughs> and he, for some reason, blocks off that path. Gotta love it when a big monster boy... Uh, not here. Over here. Actually, it would be easiest if I did do that. First one. There we go. Fairy powder. We're done here. Shout out to that poison spot still being there. And now here at the flowing river again. We're actually going to head up here. Because I need to farm this spot for more silver. And I'm not even hitting that. A uh, little crystal, I don't need more. Eh. So, this is the spot where I did this before. And I actually beat enough of the dark slimes when I was here last night, just farming a little bit. So, I'll kit, I'll cue that in right here. That's actually enough silver. Uh, we're going to call that good. I can come back for more silver later if I need it. You know, I was making fun of the little crystal, but not only did it stack nicely, but I need one anyway. I think I have one in a different level, though, so I'm going to go grab that from the house. Okay, we take a strong vine, fairy powder, little crystal, plant stem... Sparkle String and the Proof of Warrior all together shall make the level 36 recipe, the Talisman, and we're making another pendant as well. Okay, here at the river stream, we actually need to beat these leaf balls.
Got it. Okay. The water crystal, the agua marine, the pendant, the plant stem, the turtle shell, and the gunpowder all together make the level 42 recipe, the tear pendant. No, 46 recipe, I'm sorry. That's actually a good experience. Yeah, that actually almost put us to 45. Yeah, it's upgrade is actually a level 49 recipe, so this would be a good item to grind with. Huh. Interesting. So there's one more pendant that we have not made yet. We cannot make it. Uh, there is an item that we can't get yet, so we'll get back to that later. Actually, two items, I believe. Okay, so we're actually going to come over here. We're going to take two of our large fleece, and we're going to turn them into yarn. Clang, clang. Large yarn ball was created. We'll get back to that in a minute. Now, over here at the crafting station, we need one of our fleeces of any kind. Do I have this? Yes, I do. The first sleeping bag. Depending on what level uh, fleece you use, it will give you a different level recipe. The first sleeping bag. Skill level increase. That was enough for that. <laughs> okay. We're going to need a large yarn. A large fleece. And four woolly fur balls. These are the drops in the woolies. You can't get them normally. You have to beat them at night. For the level, I believe, 22 recipe. The fluffy scarf. Okay. Learning time. Uh, let's do knitting accessories, since I just started doing these anyway. Today, we'll make some accessories that have a real homemade feel. First up is a hand-knit hat. To make it, start with a small yarn ball. And a second small yarn ball. Next, add a small fleece. Then, add a second small fleece. Finally, add a woolly fur ball for extra fuzziness. So that's the reason why I can't do that one yet, because it requires the fur, another fur ball, as well as a bunch of small fleeces, which I don't have. I can do that tonight, though, so we'll probably do that. Next is a hand-knit scarf. The first ingredient is a medium fur ball. Another reason why I didn't do this one, because I don't have medium. Wait, medium yarn ball. I don't think I said that correctly. Use a large yarn ball next. There are different sizes, so look closely. Next, add a small fleece. Add a medium fleece next. Pay attention to the different sizes. Finally, add a woolly fur ball and you're finished. This is the last one. It's perfect as a gift. This is the last one. It's perfect as a gift. A fluffy scarf. The first ingredient is a large yarn ball. Next, add a large fleece. Then add a little bit more volume by using a woolly fur ball. One isn't enough, though. Use another woolly fur ball. Two isn't enough either, though. Use a third woolly fur ball. Three still isn't enough, though. Use a fourth woolly fur ball. Now you're done. Okay. Uh... Let's go for dessert. I love me some dessert. First, we'll learn how to make a cake today. Start by using the batter. Start by making the batter. First, we'll use butter. Butter! Next, use small milk. Small milk. Finally, add flour. Mix all three together to make the batter. Making the batter can be tough, but give it your best shot. You'll want to decorate your cake when it's done, so add a strawberry. It also looks cute if you add a pink cat on top of it. There, now it's finished. Let's make a cheesecake next. Let's start with the batter. First, you'll need flour. Then, add a small egg. Mix them together well. Let's add some small cheese, too. 
Then, bake it in the oven. Spread a crushed cookie on top of it after it's done baking, and it will taste even better. The next recipe is chocolate cake. It's very similar to the last recipe. We'll start again with the batter. First, the butter. Then, add small milk. Finally, add flour, and the batter is complete. After it's cooked, cover it with chocolate, and it's finished. So this isn't a chocolate cake, it's a chocolate iced cake. Like, the actual cake is just the same, it's a vanilla or whatever. That's weird. Next is pudding. First, crack a small egg and beat it. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Open up your mouth and feed it. Then add boiled small milk a little at a time. After it's done, put it in the steamer. When it's done steaming, add some honey and let it cool. Did you understand? Lastly, we have ice cream. This is a special recipe, so listen carefully. First, heat some small milk. When it gets hot, mix in some honey. The last ingredient is a bit tricky to make. Use an ice staff to cool it off quickly, that's all. Yep. So, you actually use magic to make ice cream. Well, now here in Machina Valley, we're gonna head all the way up here. I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it's up here. I think it was this one. Before we even bother, let's see. I mean, silver is appreciated. There is bronze, which is actually what I was doing here. So I'm not even going to bother doing what I was going to do here. It's fine. I just needed a quick bronze and I wanted a guaranteed one, but that's nice. I hate to say it, but I'm really short-sighted. <laughs> it suddenly occurred to me that I actually need more than one bronze because I plan on doing a few recipes of similar quality. Wow, my luck is not good right now. There's another. There's other bronze, that should be enough for now. Okay, here at the medicine making, we're gonna need an antidotal herb and a green grass. Freaking cough. Antidote potion. Okay. Talisman, a charm that protects the bearer from harm. Uh, it gives a grand total of... Three vitality. Six magic defense. And 10 defense in total. Between its 7 defense and its, you know, 3 vitality. Okay. The tear pendant. A pendant shaped like a tear makes all who look at it feel a little sad. It's a water element, so you can use it to half water damage or cut it down by a third or whatever it is. And it gives you 5 vitality and 6 intelligence. Thus raising your magic defense by 2, your magic attack by 6, and your magic defense by n or your regular defense by 9. And this is only level 3. So it'll only be a, a 7 defense increase, but, you know, not bad. A scarf made from a scarf made from fluffy cotton, tickly and warm. It protects you against seal and it raises your body by 5. That's giving you 5 defense. Okay. We'll stick with what we have, and we'll ship these three. Done. Now I need a bit of energy. And let's go farm another item. Okay, right in here. We're going after the mushrooms. I believe these are the big mucks. Okay, that's one spore. We need more, though. There's a second one. And of course, they're not the same level. Level 1 and level 7. Okay. Let's grab one more. They're surprisingly fast. Got it. And we're done. Here at the accessory crafting, we're going to need a bronze, a spore, 
an antidote, a panther claw, a poison powder. That is what it's called, right? Yeah, poison powder and an iron. This is the level 18 recipe. The poison ring. Here at the medicine making, we're going to take a medicinal herb, a blue grass, and a purple grass all together. Oh! What level recipe is this? Oh, we can't make this! Oh. Give me a second to figure out how I can... Get yeah! Mm. Oh, I'm only level 12! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Starting the grinding process by making antidote potions. There we go. 37% isn't bad, so let's do it. The Paragon. Which gets me close to half a bar, not bad. Right around 40% or so. There we go. Skill increased. Okay, I'm currently right before the M. Now after another success, I am right at the end of the L. So one, two, three, four, five, six, around six letters worth. So about a third? About a third. You know, this is as good a place as any. I actually forgot to put one of the quest cards in somewhere. I don't know how I forgot, and Future Gabe will be confirming this, but I hadn't made the first Roy quest card. So I made that when I made the last episode, so here it is right now for the first quest for Gen 2. Sorry, Roy, I guess I forgot you. Uh... <laughs> Come on. Wow, it sucks to be me. Imagine if I got experience for failures. This would make it worth it. There's the Paragon. There's my skill up. Now with a 9% increase, how about this? There we go. That's not bad. Still gives me a good chunk. It's, I think a quarter or less now, though. Alright, let's go buy more. Back on the grind. There we go. Okay, that puts me at the end of the P. I believe I have like a 55% chance now. And it puts me at the R, so it only gives me half the experience it was before. So instead of like 40%, I'm getting like 20%. So five of these per level. It is possible to make a round off now. We're gonna get one more level and then we're just gonna make it. Skill increased. Okay. Medicinal herb, bluegrass, and purple grass all together make... The round off. I did not expect that to work on the first try. Still lame that you can only ever get half a bar of experience at a time. Like, I had a 19% chance and that's all it gave me. Come on. Now here at the accessory crafting, the level 24 recipe with one iron, one uh, round off, spore, giant's fingernail, one bronze, and an insect skin. The Silent Ring. Okay. The Silent Ring, a ring that increases resistance to being sealed. The ring itself is infused with medicine. Seal resistance, and because it's level 3, it gives 3 defense. Otherwise, it's just 1 defense. Poison Ring, a ring that increases resistance to poison. The ring itself is infused with medicine. Poison resistance, same stats. Fur sleeping bag, used to sleep outdoors. Allows for a good, deep sleep, but can't be used if monsters are nearby. Paragon, medicine that cures paralysis of the body. As a bonus, it also heals 30 HP. You know, as a treat. And antidote potion. Antidote medicine that... Antidotal medicine that is used... Hmm. <clears throat> antidote medicine that is much easier to swallow than it's in, in its herb form. I believe it also heals you, but... There we go. Bunch more shipping items. Done. Oh, and I need to get energy. So... Boop. Let's go. 
Okay. Uh, Ignis is an option. Let's talk to Rosalind and see what she needs. She's right next to us. Uh, Rosalind? Oh, there you are. Hello, Ari. I suppose you saw the bulletin board? Yep, how can I help you? Ah, uh, thank you. Sorry for the short notice, but could you catch it? No. I'll give you 10,000 G. I hope that's alright. Thanks so much for the help. Nope. Uh-uh. Goodbye. I refuse. <laughs> I I will get an extra one and then we'll do that quest for her. Ignis, let's do it. Uh, heading on to the trial again today. Good for you. This time I want you to turn your attention to Ignis. Can you defeat ten of them for me? I think this one might prove to be a little tough. It's covered in fire, so you might want to try a water weapon. If you want another piece of advice, the monster will come at you with a special attack, so you might want to keep your distance. How about using a spear? Anyway, just do your best not to get hurt. Okay, let's go do it. Okay. So... Oh, it's here at night. Well, this sucks. They're only here at night. Are they anywhere else? I don't think so. If anywhere, it'd be here. No. Okay. Unfortunate. We may as well get some money and do our class for the day. Money, money, money. I've run lunch. Yay, what are we having today? Yo, today you're having ultimate curry. I made it myself. Freaking ridiculous. Uh, I guess let's just take care of these. Today we'll start. <clears throat> Today we'll start out with a flame saber. First, you'll be needing a claymore. You should make the blade out of iron. Next, you'll need a fire crystal to give it some firepower. Then, make the guard using a scorpion pincher. Use a plant stem to make the grip. After that, wrap in cheap cloth and you're done. What do you think? Now the cyclone blade. This one's thinner than the others. The first thing you'll need is a claymore. Use iron to hammer that out until it's nice and thin. Use a wind crystal for the blade, too. Then, you'll need a hardened root to make the handle. Add a woolly fur ball so that it won't be too difficult to carry. Then, make a guard with the tortoise shell. What do you think? Next is the great sword. It's a well-balanced and easy to use. This sword is made using a Zweihander, so you'll need one. Next is a spore. Combine that with a plant stem and you really sharpen the blade. Make it easy to hold by putting a speckled skin on the handle. You'll be using a spear you'll be using a sparkle string also. Wrap it tight and make sure you don't leave any gaps. This will make it easier to hold on to. Make sure to use a cheap cloth for the foundation. What do you think? Now for the two-handed earth shade. First, you'll need a claymore. Add an earth crystal to help give it its bizarre shape. Then move to the handle. Start with a spore. Next, you'll need to add a hardened root. Then, finish the handle by adding a plant stem. After that, you just have to add a guard. Use insect skin. Last is the Sea Cutter, a sword with the power of water. Listen up, first you'll need a claymore. Then, a water crystal. It'll be fragile, so be careful. After that, add a magic crystal. If you do it right, the sword will always look like it's wet. 
Okay, yeah, we absolutely did do this then. That's fine. We're redoing it because we didn't do it in the right order or whatever. You'll need a speckled skin to make the grip. Wrap it with a sparkle string, too. Then use a tortoise shell to make the guard and you'll be done. What do you think? Got it? Two-handed sword basics. Today you will be start Today let's start out with a flame saber. First you'll be needing a claymore. Did we just do this one? Yeah, the fact that that went through twice, and I don't even know if it worked correctly. This game is bugged. It... It's noon, where is he? What? Egan! So is it more orange in here than it usually is? Oh, hey, oh child. Where's everyone I'm looking for? It's noon. What's going on? Tell me my fortune. Location of Egan. He's in the. D okay. Byron is also in the dining hall. What are they doing there? Nanny? Was yours. Good afternoon. A gift for you because this is one of your favorite things. And you need to go home so I can get you to do work. I'm running around at the speed of sound. Got no place to go, got to follow my rainbow. Okay, time to fish. The first... I feel like I'm being made fun of. Alright, I'm gonna cook these up real quick. Of course, not the salmon for the quest, but hopefully I get another salmon later today. I actually leveled up from that. Nice. Yeah, it's hardly worth doing at this point. With that last level up, I don't think it's worth cooking these anymore. Time to do my first quest for the day. Cancel this. Get Rosalind some food. Oh, alright. Yeah, okay. This stuff... Like we already read earlier. Summon. Thank you, Arya. Nice work. Here's your payment of 10,000 G. Thank you, Arya. 10,000 gold! Hey, can I get a bath? I think I can afford the bath. Probably. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, he's still not home. Where... Why? Jerk. Okay, we got the quest again. Let's go. And now back to fishing to see if I can get another salmon. I got it already. Wild. That was much better than previous day. Uh, oh well. I'm glad that worked out. So now I cook up the salmon into a uh, smoked salmon. Now I cook up the salmon into a salted salmon. And now we're here at the by hand station. I use a salted salmon and rice. The salmon rice bowl. Okay. In the next half hour, let's see if I can't get another tourist shell. Nope, nothing. Oh wow, got one immediately, nice. 
Now, Ignis, you here? There we go. Defeat of the target monster. Over here? Yep. Oh, and I got a magic crystal. Awesome. Pain in my butt. Level up. Nice. Defeat of five. Come on. There we go. Disappearing before I... Before he even hit me or anything. Another magic crystal, nice. There we go. That it? That's it! Cool, we're done. Okay. You did it, well done, I, uh... Yeah, right, here's your reward. It's all yours. 2500G. Next time, we'll start Trials in Machina Valley. That's something to look forward to, right? If you want to push yourself even harder, I can arrange a special trial on Blessy Island. Anyway, keep it up. Alright. I'm actually gonna purchase something. I'm gonna purchase... the leather boots. I'm also gonna buy field gloves. Okay. Let's go. Trieste Forest. So right in here, I'm gonna use the clippers on some of these. It would stop moving. And you chase it into the water over there. Can you do it in this game? Okay, I might just need to send you back. I'm not even sure if I can. It might not give me enough time. I'm gonna let it hit me, let it run, and then it moves to the top, of course. Yeah, I, I can't do this. Okay. We're gonna tame one of these. How about you stop hitting me so far away? This is Wally. Wally! Thing is, I need more than one. And this is Shen. Shen the sheep. Okay, now we come over here. And we have to beat up these guys. Okay, that's one. Don't know how many I need for tonight. And I got two. Sure. <laughs> okay. Salmon rice ball. Salted salmon surrounded by rice, then formed into a triangle. A popular variety of rice ball. Uh, I don't need these. Um, I'm actually going to ship both these scorpion pinchers, I think. Hmm. <coughs> wow. My throat's not doing good. Scorpion pincer. Pincers that can snip easily through branches. Snip yourself and it will really hurt. Um. Here we go. Field gloves. Protect your hands and blisters from calluses. Pl protect your hands from blisters and calluses. No farmer should be without a pair. Leather boots. Sturdy, long-lasting boots made from leather. Loved by travelers everywhere. Enables backstep ability. I'll check whether or not I've shipped a speckled skin. But, yeah. I have actually shipped leather boots before. Are these used for anything else? So I will not be shipping the leather boots as I need them for a different recipe and I have shipped them before. And I have not shipped a speckled skin before. So I'll be shipping the level 10 because that's the only one I have a single of. So let's ship. Okay, we're gonna pet our woolly down here. Hey, Wally. Let's clip you. You get the small fleece. And now to the second basement floor. To just clip you.
We're not even going to be petting you. This will be our small fleece supply, and Wally will eventually be our medium fleece after a day or two. So, you know, three days or whenever he actually starts producing again. So I don't have the recipe for this, and I guess that's fine. We take the leather boots we bought, two iron, a bronze, a glue, and that shoulder piece that we got forever ago to make the heavy boots. Here in Padova, we're actually going to be trying to get an item. Maybe two. First things first is the fish fossil, which we got immediately. So yeah, we have time. Cool. Stop multi-teleporting, I'd appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> I tried to get with my sword and my game said no. Got one. There's another. Cool. These guys suck. Here we go. Got a scorpion tail like I needed. And got another one. Cool. Right around here? Uh, no, not here. Where is it? There we go. Level 8 iron, which both go to the trash. Silver, which is nice. I'm actually throwing away the yellow grass rather than the silver. So, I'm actually looking for gold here. So, hopefully I can find that soon. The bronze, the iron has a 55% chance. The bronze is 35, the gold is a 10%, and the silver only has a 5%. Which is dumb. As I've now gotten two of the silvers and none of the gold. I chose this spot since they only ever have one of any level item. So all the iron's level 8, all the bronze is level 7, all the gold is level 5, and all the silver is level 6. So it makes it really easy to stack like this. I also don't actually have to clear any enemies whenever I have to leave to go get more energy, so it's nice. Honestly, I'm going to actually swap out the irons that I have. I'm going to get rid of my level 6s since these are level 8s and I'm sure to get a full stack anyway. And we're full on bronze. And we're full on iron. Back home. No gold, sadly. Now to finish things off, we're actually going to put all the magic crystals away, since I wasn't able to get what I needed for those. I needed gold, and I don't have time to mine, so I was hoping to do it that way. We're actually going to need a wooly furball tonight, which I didn't realize if I could hit it. And I got it immediately. Nice. Okay, up here at Wooded Paradise, if you use the thing right here. That's not the item. This is something I was reading up on. I, I knew I was forgetting something before, but I am a fool if I forgot this. I think this is what I had planned originally. If I can get the item. Ooh, I just looked at the percentage. It's not good. This is only apparently a 3% chance. I didn't realize that. There we go. There's my 3% chance. Cabbage. A level 6 cabbage at that. So, there are two things you can do with this. You can either, A, just keep farming these up via this. Or, B, if you just wanted high-level veggies, you can actually go to certain spots and do this. And then turn them into seeds and start growing them at higher levels via that. This lets you skip straight to level 6 if you're trying to get level 10 veggies. It's pretty nice. I wanted to show that tonight before anything else. So I didn't realize it, but I'm actually gonna need a second strong vine today. So say goodbye, enemies. I only need one of them. So 
so if it would be kind. There we go. Okay. I need a quality cloth, a cheap cloth, a strong vine, a strong string, a scorpion tail, and a woolly fur bowl all together for the level 15 recipe. Field gloves. This is how you make the field gloves, but I'm making them for a reason. Now I take those field gloves, put them in there with a cheap cloth, strong string, a hood, giant's gloves, and a speckled skin to make the leather gloves. Now we're putting a strong string, two cheap cloth, a speckled skin, a root, and a spore all in for I believe the level 8 recipe. Leather boots. Here we're hoping to get what we need from this. I'm abusing time as much as possible here because we're so low in time here. So I beat the one that spawns there then I run off screen. This is the last time I want to make for the night. Come on! Got it. Okay. Accessory crafting again. Leather boot. Fish fossil. Quality fur. Small crystal. Or little crystal. Uh, cheap bandage. And the bird wing. All together make... The level 47 recipe. Feather boots. Feather boots are a very good item that... Our, I, we can't even upgrade with. <laughs> I can't actually get the upgrade material yet, but just know that they're good. Feather boots are actually the next tier of boots. They're not just, you know, like the heavy boot where they're just really buff and all these things, but they don't go anywhere. Feather boots actually lead to one more item. It's not an item we can make. Once again, it requires two items that we cannot get yet. They are later on in the game. They're pretty much end game. So just know about that. Okay. Feather boots, super light boots. So light you feel as though you're walking on air. Enables the backstep ability. Boots made from steel, the heavy boots. Offers high defense, but are also very heavy. Enables the backstep ability. Leather gloves, quality gloves made from leather. Protects your hands and looks stylish at the same time. Uh, how much does this actually... This raises your strength by 10. That's not bad. This, at level 3, raises your defense by 14. So, you know, base 12 defense is not bad. And this raises your defense by 5. You might ask why you'd want to make this over the other one. Well, A, this has not You know, Feather Boots have an upgrade to them. But... So I thought the heavy boots actually slowed you down, but it doesn't seem like they do, so I guess I, my information was wrong. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we've gone over them all. Let's ship them. Alright, and that is everything for today. I wanted to try to clear up as much inventory as possible, so, you know, as per usual, we don't... We have a lot of space in here, as of the last episode. While it may be full in here, mostly of stuff that I'm not, you know, getting rid of, the other one has over a full screen. Like, I have a full screen in my inventory, and then I think I have half a screen in my uh, storage at the school. I am doing much, much better now. And I've gotten through, actually. End of the day, let's check. All right. Accessories. We've gotten to, through 32% of all the accessories in the game at this point. We even shipped a couple of the other records. This is not a bad total for the day. Guys, next time on Let's Play Ruin Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. Um, we'll be doing construction, which we weren't able to today because Byron decided, I guess, to take the day off and go eat at the rich people's house and then just go later around the town? I don't know. I don't know why he did that as of noon, so I should probably just head there first thing in the morning and you know, not run into that situation again. People's schedule is weird and the fact that you can't do any of the business except for when they're staying in their home or slash shop isn't the best. But that's behind us now. I'll see you all next time and I hope you have a fantastic day.
Goodbye-bye.